Hello everybody, welcome to Epic Life Skills. This is Blue Bean Man, and today we are going to be talking about the reuse tool. Before I get started, just make sure that if you like these videos, please click on the thumbs up below, share this video with your colleagues so they can learn as well, and then subscribe to my channel because I'm posting about a video day right now and you wanna stay up to date. And if you have any questions, Please put a comment in the comment section below if you have a question or would like to see me talk about a certain subject on Bluebeam. All right, let's get going. So in this video, we're gonna talk about a very, I would say it's a common feature, but it's very overlooked. And of all the people that I've taught and trained in this software, I noticed that when I finally tell people about it, they're like, oh my God, I can't believe I didn't know about that earlier. And so this is called the reuse tool. Now at the bottom of your screen, you'll see these six little icons and this is the grid and there's a snap to grid. This one snap to content, snap to markup. These are cool things we'll cover in another video, but right here is called the reuse tool. Now in Bluebeam 2017, it actually said reuse there. So people are like, oh, I wonder what that is. But when you click on this, a funny thing happens. And also up at the top, this is there as well. It actually says reuse, it's underneath tools. If you don't click the reuse button and you click on a markup and you click on the page, it'll go back to your mouse cursor. And I like to always use this full page mode and a drawing. And I always keep this arrow on and this is a little side note to this video, but if you zoom in, you could click and hold down your scroll wheel on your mouse and it holds on the drawing and you can just move your mouse side to side after you click it and pan around. You can also double click on your scroll wheel and it'll go back to full page mode. There's a little secret tip there for you. But for the most part, you're gonna click on a markup, click on a page, and it's gonna bring you back to your cursor. Well, with the reuse tool on, it keeps the icon live on your mouse. So every left click is gonna place that markup. This is great for takeoffs, for designs, you name it. But it's really good to, if you're gonna to have to put something that's in your tool chest on a drawing somewhere multiple times all over the drawing. This is, again, this is if you watch my takeoff stamp tools, this is key to that. If you don't know about it, oh my God, it'll drive you crazy going back and forth, back and forth. Now, how do you get rid of the markup once it's on your mouse? Well, there's two things you can do. One is you can hit right click and it'll go away. The other one is you can click the escape key. Just hit the escape key on your keyboard and it clears it back to your mouse. Those are kind of two little hidden tricks. If you ever have a markup live, escape kind of brings you back to home. So that is the reuse tool. It's highly um, missed and everyone should know about it. And I believe it'll make your life a lot easier when you're doing takeoffs or you're having to do big, large scale designs. In Bluebeam, it totally comes in handy. I actually leave it on all the time uh, because I'm just so used to it. So that is the reuse tool, everyone. And definitely share this video. These are a lot of little tips. I call them PEDs, performance enhancing details, kind of like in that book um, by, uh, what's the guy, Tim Ferriss. He called them PEDs. I thought that was the coolest thing I've ever heard because all these little details combined together make for a powerful workday when utilizing Bluebeam to supercharge your workflows. Take care, everybody.